Hey, 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 Libra, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Wednesday, July 8th to the 9th intuitive love tarot read. This is for my Libra's sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you guys today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Libra, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. Also, don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this video resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, the information can be found in the description box below. All right, I'm gonna get a channeled message for you, Libra, in one moment. And get a couple cards here first, okay. We have the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, Capricorn Energy. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Two of Pentacles, the Emperor, dun, 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 and the Ten of Pentacles. All right. Let's see what Spirit has for you, Libra. They're saying less is more, Libra. Lead yourself. They're wanting you to lead and not follow. They're saying be careful because somebody, you may get this urge to follow something when it's not meant for you. And I feel like this is more of somebody saying, yeah, 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 you know, like, let's go do this or whatever. Um, and you follow along. And they're saying, no, if it doesn't feel right, because you're going to feel something, you're going to feel an urge to go, right? But at the same time, you're gonna, this, your instinct is going to tell you, no, it's not right for me. And there's a reason for that. They're not telling me what this reason is. Can you tell me? No. Okay, so it's almost like, you know what it is. I feel like, you know what it's making me feel like? You know when, you know, people talk about, oh, I was supposed to be in the car with them when they got into the accident, you know, but I decided not to go. Or I decided not to take that flight. I didn't know why. It's sort of like one of those feelings. So trust your feeling. Okay, trust this feeling, trust this instinct, Libra. You'll be glad you did. Okay. You get a lot of abundance here, Libra, with the Ten of Pentacles. You may be in the process of building something, or you may see this opportunity as like a golden opportunity and you're beginning to build your wealth, beginning to build whatever it is. If you're starting to build something now, Libra, it will be successful, no doubt. And it will also lead to love and marriage. Now, you may need to make some sort of decision here. This could have to do with an emperor. This is Aries energy for me. Okay, clarifying the Ten of Pentacles is the Nine of Wands. So this is Sagittarius energy. This is being defensive. This is um, protecting your money. But be careful because too much restriction and not enough flow of money will always lead to not enough money, right? So it, there's got to be an even give and take flow in regards to that. So don't be... Lo loosen up your grip on the flow of money, okay? I'm not saying ignore it. Just loosen your grip. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. What is this Page of Pentacles? Mm, Queen of Swords. Yeah, this is, sorry. This Queen of Swords here, it's like you're going to see this opportunity, Libra, and you're bringing out this Queen of Swords. You're like, okay, we're getting down to business. We're going to go with this. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, usually Gemini, but this is like somebody in business mood um, who gets shit done. Not unlike the King of Swords, which is Libra, right? It's just the feminine part. 
Okay, so there's an emperor who's going to make an apology to you. Now, this may be somebody who you broke up with in the past or somebody from your past. They're coming forward to make an apology and you're not sure you're going to accept it. Why is that judgment card here? Huh. Okay, I just noticed this judgment card off to the side. So I'm taking it judgment card this is talking about reunion but this is also talking about epiphany and I feel like it's more of an epiphany now you've got the justice card here with this balance right this is you Libra but this is karma this is karma this emperor could be receiving their karma it's like they see the error of their ways something I feel like they hurt you in the past and they're coming forward to apologize spirit saying listen to your intuition on this okay you've got to maintain your balance here what is this emperor apologizing for huh yeah this emperor has regrets this emperor you know, this could be, roles could be reversed. Libra energy goes both ways. Um, if you have Aries in your chart, this could be you. But whoever this emperor is, they feel regretful over something of the past. Okay. Uh, and I feel it has to do with your relationship here. What is it that they regret? Let's see. If we can get specific, Bob. Oh, the devil. Okay. Okay. So they regret being tempted. They regret they could have possible addictions here. The devil is addictions, codependency, toxic behavior, right? It's all toxic anyway. So they're regretting giving into this, the, you know, the temptations that they gave into. This could have been stepping out, but like I said, it could have been addictions. It could be drinking. It could be uh, sexual. It could just be, uh, you know, you were in a codependent relationship that was just not healthy, right? So they're seeing this, they're realizing this, and they're apologizing for it. If you're not with them currently, they're going to want to uh, try again. Okay, so what is your advice for Libra? This card again, Libra. This has come out, I swear, three quarters of the signs today. This is a Libra card. But this is not listening to your intuition. So spirit saying you need to listen to your intuition. This may happen around the crescent moon. I'm not sure when that is. We just had a full moon. So it's going to be a couple weeks before that. But this will happen around the crescent moon. But don't block off your heart chakra. Okay, like this defensiveness. Remain open. You think it's protecting you, but it's really not. Emotional vulnerability is our greatest asset. I know easier said than done because that's not how we've been trained or programmed, right? We're always trained to listen to the outside of us instead of the, the inside. You know, we were told what to do. We weren't asked. <laughs> how do you feel about that? No, our feelings really didn't matter, right? So listen to your intuition. Listen to your heart, that gut feeling, okay? Is this person truthful? Do you believe them? What are their intentions? Let me see. I think I'll ask that. What is their intention? Oh, five of wands, clarify. Hmm, the empress. Okay, they see you as the empress. Libra Taurus energy, okay? And their intention is to fight for you. And expand with you. You could be the mother of their children. Empress is a mother. But the empress, um, what do you call it, has the Midas touch. Whatever she touches turns to gold, right? Whatever she touches grows. So they may be wanting to peace out and go within and heal. They want to heal this situation. And they want to have victory over this. They want to be seen by you as... Um, well, this is also a little bit egoic, so especially with the emperor. Let's do an ego check with them. Again, I feel like this is, this is sort of mixed here, so you're going to have to listen to your intuition as to what you feel 
their intentions are towards you, right? So advice, advice. Advice for Libra. What is Libra's advice? Okay. Knight of Swords. You need to communicate to this individual your truth. Okay? Not their truth. Not what you feel they want to hear. Your truth. There is no one truth, right? Everybody sees things differently. The way that you see things. The way that you feel things. You also need to communicate to the universe what exactly it is you wish to have within a love relationship. Not only communicate with your words, right? But feel it. What do you want to feel like? Do you want to feel codependent? Do you know, do you, the things, don't think about what you don't want. Think about what you do want and how that would feel. Act as if, act as if you already have this now. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Eight of Pentacles. All right, they're saying if you're passionate about something, then it needs to be worked on, okay? It needs your attention. Now, if this is a relationship that you're passionate about, relationships need work, you know? It's not like you don't put any effort into it. It's just like anything else. You, if you have a job, you go and you put eight hours in or however many hours a day. You put into your job, you put energy into that. Same goes for relationships, for marriage, right? Work needs to be done. Love needs to be poured into it in whatever way that you express love or whatever their love language is. Um, but that's a whole other story. All right, Libra, I hope this helped. I hope it resonated. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your needs and your questions, the information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and comment. Let me know if this resonates with you. Have a good one, Libra, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Namaste.